Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and I'm not sure who I'm going to play as this time around. I could do Tainted Mammon. Tainted Mammon's always a fun one. Let's give him a go. It's been a little while since we played as him and I'm sure we still have some unlocks to do as him. Uh, let's have a little look-see. Yeah, so we can do um, Boss Rush, we could do Mega Sate, we could do Mother, we could do Beast. Um, probably try and do Boss Rush, Mega Satan. If not, we'll go to the Beast, I guess. Uh, that seems good to me. But this character, one that I like a lot, basically, it's got the Tainted Keeper shops, which really, really just, I love that. It's so good. Um, but essentially, we have to collect these trinkets that are uh, going to class as curses and give us some downsides. They can drop through various means, one of them being, as you just saw, killing enemies. Uh, others finding them in your item room and stuff. But yeah, it can be it, it can be risky, but it can be fun. Um, now, these trinkets will disappear if I leave them in the room. I can't come back for them. So this one is going to be a pretty big nerf to our range. Um, and this one is going to grant us Curse of the Loss, which is annoying, but we'll grab that too. Um, chance for non-boss enemies to be duplicated on spawn. We'll take that as well. And yeah, essentially we can then sell all of these to... Um, Ooh. Nuclear tears streak across from the top of your screen. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, the more we take, the more money we get when we get to our shop. Um, and then we can go and sell all of it down and buy a bunch of stuff. It's it's good stuff, it's good stuff. Now, this range is definitely making things hard. That's a bit annoying. Oh, really? Doubly annoying. I can't get either of those. That's a shame. Ooh, this is... Uh... Not going to be an easy room with the Fallout tiers. I've got to be kind of cautious as to where I sit here. Yeah, see, we can get Curse of the Lost again. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes you can get two of the same one. There is a pretty wide variety of trinkets you can find. But like I said, there is still a chance that you find the same ones multiple times. Yeah, see, they disappear now. Unfortunately, we did not... Um... We did not get the chance to pick those up prior. Uh, this is a really, really rough room here. I'm probably going to get hit. I'm just going to try my best to, yeah, oh, unfortunate. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Not much I can do about it. Right, I think I'm going to go to the shop before I do my boss. I think I have more than enough stuff to start selling now. Um, so let's sell all of these down. Boom, boom, boom. Good, good. Uh, we'll take the electric dice, even though it's not amazing. And I guess I'll take Mega Bean as well, just because it's an active and I don't currently have one. I like the idea of Mega Bean as well. It can be very good. And I think with Electric Dice, it might be actually very good. Electric Dice basically is kind of like a, a slightly better and slightly worse car battery. Sometimes it's going to trigger no extra time. Sometimes it's going to trigger up to two or three extra times, I think it might be. I can't remember how many extra times it is, but it's good. But you can see, now we don't have any curses on us anymore. We've, uh, we've traded all those in for money. We've got, gained ourselves a good uh, two items here that will carry us forward. And now Monstera will hopefully give us another Curse Trinket. And I, th I can't remember if you get boss items from this guy or not. Hmm. As for the question of the day today, hmm. Okay, we, we get an item to buy there. Unfortunately, we can't afford it. Converts all red hats into rotten hearts. I'll take that for now. Uh, unfortunately, we can't afford that. Um, unless we get another few nickels out of these poops. That's okay. It's not an amazing item anyway, so let's go down to the next floor. Um. Hmm. Let's think of a good one. What's an event that you've always wanted to go to but never been able to? Like Comic Con or like one of those sort of things. What's one of those that like you really wish you could go to but either money or location or whatever circumstances have always stopped you? Because I, I feel like that can be an interesting one. There can be pretty varied answers there. Good, got rid of the champion straight away. Having Rotten Hearts obviously is a little scary because now we're two hits off death. But at, this at the same time, it does allow us to have four... Uh, Four flies going into every room, which I think is pretty valuable. Yeah, that guy gave us a key as well. Can you just calm down with that? Um, afflicts you with bleeding. I 
Exactly. I took it after I got hit because now I can't bleed. Ooh, I'll take that later. Little huggy huggy. Thank you. Leave those for now. Yeah, I'll leave that there for now, but I'll take it at the end of the floor. It's going to be pretty useful for us. Surprised I didn't get more trinkets out of that room, to be honest, considering how many enemies there was in it. Normally, when there's a lot of enemies, you've got a higher chance of getting trinkets, but it's always random. You never know what you're going to get. I never quite know. Right. Uh, enemies have a 35%, a uh, 50% chance to have plus 33. Okay, that's actually fine. I'm okay with that. Beautiful stuff. Come on, give us more trinkets. We might need to do our boss first before selling this time round. Dude, we are getting some really, really good hearts for taking down to the next floor here. We're going to be doing some backpedaling. Right, again, like I said, let's let's wait to see our shop until we've, uh, until we've done our boss and got more trinkets going. I'm really hoping we get a few more before we do the boss, to be honest. Oh, dude, that was such, such a bad hit. I could easily die here. That was very lucky. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Another one. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's a darkness. That's kind of fine. I realize this is very risky. But it doesn't matter because I just annihilated him. Uh, we get ourselves the uh, increase the drop rate of cursed trinkets, decrease the sell value of cursed trinkets. Ah, so we don't really want that because that's going to decrease the value of all the ones we've currently got. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to go Angel Deal anyways here, but that, that didn't really work out in our favor there. Um, right, anyways, let's keep it moving. Let's grab, grab. Um, smelter? Is Smelter a good one? Also, I don't... Okay, I was going to say I don't have the Cell guys right there. What am I about? Smelter's kind of intriguing, I guess. But I, th I feel like I'm going to take the Stat Capsule instead. Smell it's just not as useful here. I could take both, I guess. But, I don't know, do I do I want to take Smelter or do I want to keep this active? Increases the spawn rate of trinkets. Now nah, I'm going to take it. Smelter's fun. We'll take Smelter. We'll grab that. Good, good, good. Even though the bean is fun, I just waste money on it. Grab that. Ooh, that zealot heart's looking spicy now. Cool, we got that going. Down to the next floor. Hopefully get a little bit of a better shop going. Hopefully get a shop with a reroll machine. That's where things get really, really nice as this character. Getting shops with reroll machines can be incredibly powerful. Uh, but anyways, so let's go down to the next floor. Keep it moving. We're going to get a lemma get and wisp and a um, thingy red fly. <clears throat> uh, ooh, we got compound fracture. Very, very fun item. I like that a lot. We're going to try and keep our heart alive as well here. Because we've got this, uh, <clears throat> both of these hearts, the zealot and the fly heart, will stick around if we uh, if we keep them alive. And they'll keep on producing till the next floor. But it's not always so easy to keep them alive, obviously. No thank you on that. Uh, no, that's, I could get a trinket there, but it's also not really worth it without having a bomb first. Unfortunately, no cursed trinkets as of yet, but these enemies are pretty good for cursed trinkets because each segment counts as its own enemy. But unfortunately, yeah, 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 we go. finally got one. Again with the low range, but it's not its not terribly low range. It's, it is low, but it's, it's manageable. <clears throat> it's pretty useful. Yeah, I'm going to try and take out the butt lickers before I uh, move into the middle there. Nice, there you go. Let's move into the middle. What the fuck? Okay, something hit me there and I'm not sure what. I think I got hit by that little white uh, the white fly from the poop. Deals, uh, oh, what? Do you, I, th I think that's what happened. I think I picked it up and it goddamn hurt me. Um, deals half a half non-fatal damage on pickup. When taking damage, it falls off. Yeah, that's what happened. I don't have a goddamn bomb for this. Let me go back and get that half red heart so I don't die. I did not get chance to read that description quickly enough to notice that's what was going to happen there. So that's 
little unfortunate on my behalf, I guess. Bugger off, you flying shitheads. Good. Oh my god. Stop falling off! I'm gonna kill myself with this goddamn trinket. Okay, this is probably death for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's run it back because that was not a great start. This this character obviously with the with the curses can obviously be quite tricky. Um, it depends on luck of the draw of what you end up getting and stuff. But that was really unfortunate. That that one that, that hurt us kind of ruined a lot there. Was not expecting it, but it is what it is. Just in case there was money in that. Same again. No money in this one. And you as well. No curse trinkets yet. Like I said, it's really it's very much luck of the draw. Sometimes you get super lucky and you get like five or six of them that aren't that detrimental to you. And other times you get none or you get like one or two that are really detrimental. Like, so far, this floor's gone pretty badly. Especially when I get hit like that. You'll lose up to three coins when entering a room. It's annoying. Yeah, this... Honestly, like, starts like this genuinely might be worth just quick restarting because we need some good trinkets on the first floor to make sure we can get at least an item and so far we've not got even that okay we got one here i don't even know what it did oh, it just gives us a random one. Ah, oh, isn't this the one that makes enemies all attack faster and have faster shot speed this one's this one's tricky dude missed one of those coins that's annoying Fuck it, I absolutely goddamn hate these, these little spider sack things. Because not only are they really just frustrating and annoying to deal with, but they also um, just create so much lag. <laughs> Very annoying to have to deal with. Um, I guess I could take Marked. Marked is a janky item, but I do like it. It gives you a pretty decent fire rate bonus and stuff. It's one of the few, like, the sort of notably bad items. I say one of the few. I actually quite like quite a lot of them. But they're notably bad items that I really like. I think on some runs it can be bad. And honestly, in this situation here, it's probably not amazing for me. But it's also not that bad for me either. Giving me a decent fire rate bonus early, which is something I can't tear my nose apart. It's just, it, it just adds an extra sort of layer to your thought of how you aim at enemies. You can't really play the same way you normally would. But being able to shoot at an angle is pretty nice, stuff like that. There you go, it wasn't too bad, was it? Um, we get another good item here that I can't take. Okay, let's just keep going. See if we can get something better going on this time around. I'm, I'm dubious considering we're starting with marked. Ooh, we get one of these rooms right off the bat. I can take that. Um... Random rune effects. Oh, that's it. Algiers for seven seconds each room. Seems interesting. There you go. We'll give that a go. We've got blank rune here, which I guess I'll just pop. And then this, I'll save for a room that has the most amount of red rooms on it. So we got one. Just one on this room. Pretty pointless. Yeah, seven seconds of Alger's pair of room is pretty good. Okay, here's some of these flies. Ooh, I wonder if the flies can drop trinkets. Because if they, if they can, that's maybe a good thing. Same with enemies duplicating. If they can drop more trinkets, then happy days, I guess. Right, use the invincibility to just get up in enemies' faces. Don't 
Dude, wh wh why are all the rooms like no good for um for Soul of Cain here? So I'm gonna be able to get quite a lot out of Soul of Cain and every room's like, no, nope, there's no red rooms here. Luck minus seven. Really affects us too much at all. Pass the unknown. Yeah, see, only one red room again. Uh, in here, there was none. <laughs> we're getting pretty unlucky. Solar Kane, I like you, but yeah. We're not able to get much use out of you right now. Just more bombs, lovely. Right. We have a good amount of curses right now. We would earn a good chunk of change already. Don't quite know what happened there. My dude seemed to like it. Okay. Take out these poops. Okay, we're not got invincibility anymore. No one's respawned yet. I said that enemies had a chance to respawn. That's not happened so far. There's still only one red room on this door. Algis is kind of saving us right now, to be honest. Oh, dude. Mark's just making that difficult. Range down doesn't matter because we've got quite a lot of range still. In theory, this would be the room to use our red root, uh, our root cane rune on, but yet again, shafted by the room design. Not a single room so far that has two possible doors. First of all, we can actually. Okay, we do have. Oh no, we have three here. Okay, so this is the room so far. This is the room so far. We have three. And we can actually use uh, our, our rune to um, find out what the secret room is as well, which is pretty useful. Like, that's just a regular trinket. Gives us a fire rate bonus as well, so I'll take it. Right, uh, okay, back we go. Where is secret room based on this then? Should give us a pretty good indication. I think it's below from this crystal room here, maybe? It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I don't know what that trinket's doing. It's doing something, but I'm not quite sure what. Right, anyways, I think we're good to sell now. We've got a lot going on here. We should get quite a hefty chunk of money for this. And indeed, we did. Okay, so definitely grab Jar of Flies. What we got here? Enemies have a glow. Looking at the enemy passes the effect onto you, giving you the stat boost but under the effect. After a period of time, we'll glow. Uh, we'll take it, why not? Seems seems weird. We also have three rooms off of this. Let's let's do this instead. I think we're slightly like yeah, I was gonna say we're slightly more likely to get the thingy room off of the back of this, so uh, the ultra. I'm not gonna take that one because it annoys me. Oh, baby, yes. Okay, that's one of the best red rooms you've ever goddamn seen in your life. Holy hell. We'll definitely buy this soul heart as well now. Okay. I am in a good mood. I do not like that syringe item. It's visually horrible. Anyhow, let's keep it moving and grooving. Got good money, and we we now have a pretty winning combo, I'd say. And by combo, I mean 
just C-section. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to try and do Mega Satan with this run now. Uh, boss Rush might be a little out of the question just because of how long I've taken on these floors thus far. But C-Section might end up hustling us along. I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll see. Dude, just get C-Section and stop moving the goddamn all around the room, please. Oh, dude. Such a bad hit. I thought I saw Invincibility. Uh, I'm definitely going to go Angel Deal here. Attempts to steal things before you can pick them up. Why not? Um, I'm not going to take the booster pack because he'll just steal them all. So what's the point? Yeah, I really don't like... I really, really don't like the noises this, this booster item makes. It's strange. Curse of the Lost. Annoying, but I guess I'll take it. I'm probably not going to make Boss Rush, honestly, so let's just do that. Yeah, wh why does it have to make a... Why does it have to do that every single time? Like, what, what, what's that about? Is there any reason you need to make it make this noise every single time? It seems silly to me. Right. Oh, there's a duplicated enemy now, I see. Cast of Darkness as well. Dude, you little prick. I need to be, like, right near the middle of the room when the room's over to make sure. Oh, dude, okay. I'm gonna quickly... Oh, I was just gonna say quickly go into my shop. I can't. Okay, so I might die. <laughs> <laughs> I may have uh, I may have overcommitted to the bit. This stat boost thing makes keeps making me think I've been hit. I really don't like it. This guy's gonna steal my goddamn uh, hearts as well, isn't he? Oh god. Can leave that key alone, you specky bitch. Right, to the shop we go. To the shop we go. Get rid of this grabby fucker. He's annoying the hell out of me already. Also, there's no healing in here. That's that's a bit of a bummer. I was expecting there to be some healing in here. Um, I'm very, very, very worried that I'm going to die. I'll be honest. I'm very, very worried that I'm going to die with the current HP that I'm on. Especially on a C-section run, that would be truly devastating. We've got a lot of money now, so we don't need to worry about taking too many curses at this point. Oh, wait. Mustard Seed, I think, gave me HP up. I'm fine. I think Mustard Seed, like, healed me and gave me uh, max HP. So we're now in a much better position. Okay, that's a darkness. Got our flies going. I'm liking Mustard Seed doing its thing as well. It's always nice. Okay. Keep this moving. Yeah, we're gonna say boss rush is, is probably well out of the question at this point. Yeah, mustard seeds creating a hell of a lot of friends for us. I'm very grateful for that. Oh, dude, the herming on that's pretty aggressive. Ooh, I will take this. It's it's a big risk because we lose a lot of money doing this, but... I was just about to say, you might get some good stuff out of it, and we very much did. The range doesn't matter, but the two HP ups is pretty amazing. 
Right, obviously we lost all our money now, so we have to regain that, but gives us more reason to pick up curses, so it's not a bad thing. Puts us in a dandy position. Uh, chance to fire a harmful flame when shooting, flame seal contact damage, and block your tears. Yeah, I'll take that. It's a bit scary, but I'll take it. I've just got to be aware when they fire. Oh, dude! That explosion was fucking silly. Came out of nowhere. I mean, by nowhere, it came directly out of the enemy and was very visible the entire time. But shush. I was annoyed by it deeply. So, about doing Mega Satan, so far, really not going to happen because we've not got our angel deal and we can't keep our chance. So, I might drop this trinket, you know. This trinket seems to be messing with things quite heavily. But also the fire rate bonus is nice. Ooh, what a what a great noise. Nice to get the extra stat boost here and there, but yeah. Don't appreciate the noise it's uh playing constantly. Good, good. Give us some cast trinkets game, come on now. Come on now, what you playing about at? Oh, there's an enemy there that's just a glowing ball of fire or whatever. Forced me to expel my keys, I can't do that, I'm sorry. Yeah, the glow is very obnoxious and the sound is also quite obnoxious. Not, not a fan of this item too much. Just seems very OTT. Infinite keys. Finally got some soul hearts from them, goddamn. I've got good range with this as well, so these guys can just travel on and do their thing and kill everything for us. Don't have to worry too much. Should have looked up where the shop was before I uh, dipped out of this room. Oops. Cool. We got him. Uh, uh, where the fuck did you come from? Get out of here. Right. Careful about the fireplaces. Okay, it doesn't actually do it in rooms you've already been too good. Right, back to wherever the hell the shop was, which, yep, again, do not remember where that was, but it was somewhere over here. I think it was up and to the right, somewhere up this way. Maybe? Nope, not been here yet. That makes things harder. Have we, see, have we actually seen the shop? Dude, this fire thing is awful. I hate this. A fire one tile open the door. I'll never remember that that's a thing. I'm going to hit myself on that every single time, guaranteed. Well, here's that item. Was this, was this an XL floor? No. I just never saw my item room this floor, apparently. Oh my fuck, that goddamn stupid fire. Oh, that's awful. That is so horrible. I've lost all of my soul hearts to that fucking thing. I'm never, I'm never gonna be able to remember. That's so confusing to me. Where the fuck's my shop? Why didn't I look before I picked up the curse of the goddamn blind thing? Gotta be over here somewhere, right? Oh my god, where is it? There it is. Well, we got some good stuff here. Wafer, definitely. 4.5 volt could be good later down the line. I'll take that as well. Oh, the fire! Fuck you! I just can't. Like, I know. I know it's there. But my brain cannot register the fact that it's... Like, it's just not supposed to be there, so I just can't. That is one that I should never pick up again, because that is going to get me hurt a ton. 
I mean, I've already lost two and a half soul hearts to it so far. Yeah, boss rush is definitely out of the question at this point. Uh, we'd have to do the next two floors extremely quickly, and based on the fact that the next two floors also have shops, not likely that I'm going to do them that quickly. Oh, they are, it is an Excel floor, though. That, that speeds things up considerably. I still think it's probably unlikely. Yeah, there's certain curse trinkets that I just do not take, no matter what. Outside of treasure rooms, um, trinkets are replaced with a single penny. No, that sounds terrible. That sounds legitimately awful. Cast the blind. Random, random. Told you that we're going to lose our uh, angel deal again. Okay, goddamn. It's been frustrating because I don't think I'm going to get Mega Sit in either at this rate, so... What are these random ones? The random ones are tricky because I could get something real bad. That one's just a big speed down. Not like how fast that guy is. Excel floors are pretty bad as well because we're missing out on a curse. Dude, so much stuff on the floor to deal with here. Well, this has been very, very good. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Now it's like absolutely beeline it as quick as we possibly can to the boss. Don't know if we're actually going to make it in time, but there is a small chance we can do boss rush if we absolutely beeline it and go the right way. We have a lot more damage now, so hopefully we can get through the rooms quicker. Just keep plowing forward. I don't need that. Oh, dude, no. Wrong, that's wrong way number one. Now things are looking very sketch, because the thing is I've got to kill two bosses, which is not super, super difficult for me. Oh, okay, no, it's over. God damn it, game. Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this XL bullshit floor piece of bullshit shit? You've ruined my day now. Absolutely ruined my day. Why did you have to make it? So that the goddamn boss was so far away. You're actually going to find it now with just just enough time to not make it. Okay, no, I'm not. All the wrong ways. Ugh, I hate not having mapping. It's gross. It's absolutely disgusting. Very upset. Okay, don't take any more curses. There is literally zero point to take another curse at this point. Because after the next floor, there's no shops. Did... Is the... Do you know what? I'm sorry, but I just lost my angel chance to that guy fucking telefragging me. I'm not having it. <laughs> Fuck off. You can't just spawn on top of people. <laughs> Dude, where the fuck's the fucking boss? <laughs> I hate this fucking stupid shit. Oh, God. Also, I ain't no way I'm pissing around with this room. So, yeah, no matter how much time we had left on this floor, we could have had 18 minutes left. We wouldn't have fucking made it, because the game has decided to place it very far away. Now, 
time. No, no curses anymore. There's no more shops now, so... So one of the big problems with characters like this, they have these gimmicks that, like, at a certain point become literally completely pointless. It's, there's not much you can do about it either. I don't know how the developers would go around, go about uh, making that better. Did I just get hit? What did I get hit by? Was there some creep on the floor? I don't... Where the fucking shit's the boss? What? Where the hell is it? What the dickens? Is it seriously in that two room up there? What the fuck? The weirdest layout I've ever seen. Very confusing. Yeah, it's through here. What the hell? <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. God damn it. Yeah, there was just there was no chance I was gonna guess this right. No chance at all. Even though I was so close to it, like I, if I'd have gone the right way first time, I would have made it in time, but there was no way I would have expected it to be this way. Lost my angel deal. Typical. Can't get an angel deal to save my goddamn life as this character, I swear. Annoying the hell out of me. Well, unfortunately, this is a literally pointless run now. We can't get any completion marks apart from Void. We can't get any completion marks. So. Big shits. Unless I do a sack room, which I don't think there's much chance of. I do have the wafer, actually. I do have the wafer, which makes sack rooms far more plausible. But maybe I will do one. <gasps> what the shit? We got an angel deal anyways. Holy hell. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to take the Polaroid here. That was very unexpected. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, that was very, very unexpected. <laughs> the game would be shafting me so hard, I didn't think it could be that kind. Right, is that a shop there? I think it is, isn't it? So maybe there is a point to uh, Thingy doing his gimmick. Yeah, there's a shop right here. What's it got on it? Just the mulligan. Yeah. I think I'm just going to beeline it for the uh, the boss, to be honest. Don't think I'm going to worry about that much, if at all. Not the boss, unfortunately. Okay. Still, we're doing a good job of clearing through rooms. I mean, C-section uh, champion belt uh, thingy's head is, is going to do that to someone. gonna make that run quite good overall. I'm also liking the fact that we just got this little army constantly of various different things from mustard seed. That helps. Careful of the creep. I think we're going the right way this time I'd say. You never quite know with uh, the wound but I, if, I feel good about this one. Good. Good. Feel good about this one. Dude, the um, the jar of flies, there you go. Jar of flies was a really good pickup. So many flies all the time. Holy hell. Yeah, baby. Nice. Okay, we've got um, Sour Patch, which is pretty good here. Angel Deal has pentacles. But it's not really the Angel Deal we care about at this point in time. It is the key piece. That, that was pretty crazy that we managed to actually get our key pieces there. I wasn't expecting that. But I'm happy that they came about for us. I would like to grab that. The damage does sound useful. Um, in fact, there's some money back over here, by the looks of it. Maybe I'm able to uh, get enough to make this work. 
because plus 1.2 damage sounds pretty useful, especially when we've got uh, the cricket's head. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. When we've got cricket's head, that'll actually come out to like 2.4 damage or something like that. Something on 2.5, 2.6. I can't remember exactly how much the times multiplier is. Um, but either way, it's going to be a good bonus. And we're only at 8.78 damage, which isn't a, t a whole hell of a lot right now. 3.6. There you go. Look at that, baby. Amazing. It, it will make our tiers smaller, though, so I'm, I'm, I want to see how small our boys are now. Oh, no, they're the same size, pretty much. Right, again, hoping we go the right way here. Stop stealing my gears and making that horrible, horrible noise. Right. This is where things get a little tricky on if we're going the right way or not. Having some extra shot speed would be nice here. We're at 1.4 already, so it's not bad, but more the merrier at this point. Uh, it's pretty much just shoot and run to the other side of the room and wait for it to be over. Could you actually target the enemy that is required to clear the room? Thank you. Right, nice. Now this is probably going to be a little tricky. Oh no, I guess not. <clears throat> we got all the angel deals. Every angel deal came our way here. I was not expecting that. Uh, Celestial Strawberry or HP plus Flight. I think the Flight's probably better. Although neither are particularly amazing. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go this way and try and do Mega Certain. And we'll squeeze in Delirium if it shows up. I do have a mod that I want to try out as well. I'm not going to reveal what it is just yet, but I want to give it a go. Actually, no, I won't be able to give it a go um, if we're doing Mega Certain, so never mind. I'll reveal it on another episode, do not worry. Right, again, just heard we're beelining it to the boss. That was really nice. Insta-kill on that guy. I don't know where my Euphoria shots are coming from. It must be my uh, buddy in a box, buddy. Beautiful. Actually gave us an item as well. Nice. Apparently we've got some Lamageton Wisps here as well. I think that's from uh, from Pentacles. Do quite like Pentacles. It's, it's a really basic and like simple idea, but I think it's a really good one. Right. We are on for the boss now, baby. On for the boss. Yeah, it's, it's been a fun, a fun run as this character. I mean, C-Section really uh, tore it wide open. But thank you to C-Section for that. It's been good nonetheless. Do you know what I'm just realising now? When Astral Projection fires its, like, triangle of tears... Um, it's firing all C-section shots. So that's why sometimes the boss just insta-dies. You see that clump of white tears? They're all C-sections. God damn. Uh, I think I'll take this at this point. Try and get some bonuses out of clearing the rooms. Don't know how long we'll keep it for, but we'll give it a go. More HP is good. And yeah, we'll see how we do here. Just try and get a few more chests. I don't need them really, but more the merrier. Yeah, you see that? The white tears hit and then just insta-died. We've got three gigabombs here as well if we want to use those later on. Against Mega Certain. Good. Still no chests though. Unfortunately, Mustard Seed doesn't work with this crucifix item. Like, if we crucifix kill a enemy that's mustard seeded, it doesn't spawn a friendly. We 
Which is a shame. Oh, come on, chests. Getting ridiculous. I might as well just go kill the boss at this point. In fact, I'm gonna go just kill the boss at this point, because you're taking forever. It's pissing me off. Right, boss time. Now, this should be a pretty quick kill, obviously, but you never know. We cannot save for sure. Now, we do have a uh, thingy as well, the way of this, so we're pretty well protected against this boss. Chances of dying against it are pretty low. Try and use astral, uh, not astral protection, crucifix when I can, but it's a little tricky. Oh god. <clears throat> good hit, sir, good hit. Not that the uh, perfection really matters at this point. I think it's affecting a crucifix shot chance, that's about it. Prepare to die, beast. It's having a hard time catching up with them all, but we got them. Easiest part of the room here, I think, for us. It's killing all these bad boys, because the, the, the C-sections just fly all over the room and just dominate. Okay. I'm going to save my Gigabombs for Wave 2. Little bomb almost got me there. Onto our angel brethren. And last one. Give us another triangle of white shots, please. Ah, doesn't matter. We got him anyways. I right, should get all of them on his face rather than his hands. The attached to his hands are not going to do much to help us. There you go, and on to second wave now. Beautiful. Very quick kill so far. And then we've got three Gigabombs to, to work this guy's health down a good bit. Ho oh, ho, oh, baby, you see that damage? Just get in there, honestly, we've got so much HP. There's another one. And we've got Flight as well, so we have to worry about all the gaps it creates. There you go, rune rocks have appeared. Interesting. We did get the chance to do void as well. Why the hell not? We've not done void already, have we? No, we haven't. Why the hell not? Let's give it a go. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. We got Curse of the Lost. Absolute worst floor in the game to get Curse of the Lost on because you just have absolutely no idea what's going on. Unless you manage to look into finding Delirium early, it's going to be a whole hell of a lot of confusion. Good. Yeah, I gotta say, this is going to be very confusing. I'm not going to know where the hell I've been and where I need to be going. Burnheart, I guess I'll take it. I thought I'd been in this room. I had not. I'm getting hit a lot at the moment. Yeah, I'm already confused on where we are and where we're going. Oh my god, it's the long boy. It is the long boy. I mean, it's pretty easy, obviously, but... Still a little bit annoying to kill. We good? We good? No, you're still about. Now we're good. Not found any bosses yet. Just finding those boss doors. It's gonna take us some sweet time. I keep getting hit by myself. Hoping we get some heart drops at some point. I'm sure we will. Okay, here's our first boss room. 
We'll see what happens. Oh my god. Make sure to pick up any cursed trinkets by accident as well. Oh dude, yeah, my health right now is not good. It's kind of an annoying astral room, this. For all of them. It is not, it's just our daddy. Okay. Take care of that at least. I don't think that helps right now, but extra range is something, I guess. Why am I going around? I've got flight. I've been here. See, this is what I mean. It's gonna. I'm just gonna keep going back on myself a lot. A lot and a lot. Health, please. Oh, wow, what a proportion amount of pickups. To be fair, I should open up the golden chest. But eh, I don't care. Two more bosses, good, good. Good old weird slime boy. Son of the burn heart. Don't think Guppy's paw does much for us. Ugh, oh, blue baby now as well. Like I said, there's gonna be an absolute pain in the ass this. I mean, we're killing all the bosses really quickly and stuff. It's not- that's not a problem. Just finding where we need to go is just going to take forever. Ow. That boss armor this guy's given really spells trouble. Ooh, I love that attack. That attack's so goddamn cool. We got him. Ugh. <laughs> What's with all the items being gross? going on with that? Who who rigged this? Who rigged this? Because someone sure did something. Small rock. Don't like the speed down, but the fire rate and damage up is pretty good. Okay. Keep turning things into my friends and then being really confused why there's still an enemy following me when the room's over. Mustard seed, how do I constantly forget about you? Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I, I just... I, I, I say a lot of things are my least favourite thing in Isaac, but genuinely not having mapping of any kind, whether that be a mapping item or like not having the map as a whole, might be my, my, biggest, my biggest thing that I don't like. It's just so overwhelmingly confusing. I can't keep track of where I've been at all. And you know what's going to happen? I'm going to have. I'm going to be like, what the hell? I've done every single boss. How have I still not found him? And it'll be like the one boss I haven't seen in a in an area that I haven't thought to go to and don't even know exists. Oh no, it's okay. We got it. We got it. One second. Sorry, I had a really massive sneeze there, and I thought I'd pause to save your ears from it. But okay, we got through it. We didn't come in with completely full health, but honestly, considering we've got the wafer, I don't think that matters too much. I think we're likely to have a fairly easy time here. Now, I will say, he moves around a lot, and our C-sections aren't exactly moving quickly, so it's not going to be a super, super quick kill. But the damage we're outputting is still pretty hefty, so I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, he's already down to like half HP, and he's taken two hearts off us so far. Part and a half, even. And there's some healing there as well. Ooh, okay. I want to see this in this form. That's really our big damage. Good bit going there. Oh, also as well, something just completely unrelated to this. I just... Something to talk about while we're in the middle of this annoying fight. Um, I've been playing through GTA 5 recently with my girlfriend, just because we haven't played it in a while. Turns out it was the 10-year anniversary of GTA 5 yesterday. And we beat the game yesterday. And I thought that was pretty cool that we that we beat the game um, on the 10-year anniversary. And it's the first time we've both played it in a few years. Like, we've both beaten it multiple times already, but, like, we hadn't played it in, like, 
probably like five years, like all the way through at least. We played it on and off, but we've been playing through it and it was pretty cool. Now we're going to try and get 100% and then go for all the uh, achievements, I think. But there you go. Nice little win there. Nice and easy. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode with a good old bit of C-section. Gotta love it. An early C-section as well. We hit the blazing beak. And we'll pop into this chest. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.